Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm very excited to be here with you today to show you my 10 daily beauty game changers. And I never really thought of them that way. And you've seen a lot of these products because these are the products that I use every day in and out. Some of them you haven't seen. They're kind of the unsung heroes that really don't warrant a video on their own, but they are very good products. First, I'm going to take a swig of my Caramel Starbucks Keurig coffee from my I Am Enough mug. And I absolutely love this saying. And somebody once said in a comment to me, why don't you say instead of I am enough, I am fabulous. Well, the reason I say I am enough is all of us do all of these beauty things and we watch our diet and we exercise and that kind of thing. But we really do need to remember, especially during this holiday season, that whatever we are in any way, shape or form, we are enough. And really, this just reminds me that no matter how many of those types of things we do, we do them because they're fun, but we don't do them because we don't think we're enough. Inside, we need to really remember that whatever we are, however we are made, we are enough. Okay, enough of that. Now, before I get into my 10 daily beauty game changers, I did kind of want to show you some of the cosmetics that I have on right now. I haven't been doing a lot of makeup videos lately, and I would kind of like to do one on this look because it is kind of a daily look for me lately. The first is this Natasha Denona Glam Palette, and I love this eyeshadow palette. I am really using it about every day. And there is a look at those lovely shadows, really very neutral with a little bit of a shimmer, but it isn't a real glittery out there shimmer. It's a very manageable shimmer. I have it on my eyes right now, and I absolutely love it. And her shadows are fabulous. They are really good. They don't kick up a lot of powder. They stay in place all day long, and yet they do give a little bit of glimmer and gleam, which I think all of us need as we get to be a little bit more mature. Fabulous palette. I would highly recommend this. Then I have this blush on, which is an old favorite, and you may have it in your makeup collection already, and I hope you do, because it is wonderful. It is the Ombre Radiance Blush from It Cosmetics. It is called Je ne sais quoi. It is an old classic that they have had for years. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. And how I put it on is I dip my brush just straight across there. And then when you keep it even and put it on your skin, the highlighter blush color goes at the top and then it's a little bit darker. And then the darkest color goes there. Same way on that side. Absolutely love this blush. I'll see if I can kind of swipe it here or swatch it here, I guess. And look, it just kind of blends together to a beautiful peachy pink color. And I think I like that about it too, that it is not peach, it is not pink. It is actually a combination of the two with a little highlighter thrown in. Absolutely a fabulous blush. Really, truly do love this. Now on my lips, I'll be showing you the last makeup product. And I'm putting these cosmetics in my daily makeup group. They're not one of the top 10 that I'll be showing you. But lately, I have been reaching for these very consistently. This is the lipstick I'm wearing now, and I've been wearing it a lot. It is Maybelline Pink For Me 376. Look at that. Very, very, very pretty color. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Here we go. And it is the perfect blend of the old rose that we love to use to wear, which I loved and also kind of a nude look. That is such a pretty color. There it is again. Very, very pretty color. And being Maybelline, it is a very good price too, which is wonderful. And then I paired it with this great Milani lip pencil. And this is called the Understatement Lip Liner in the color 110 Nude Entrance. And I won't put this lip liner on again. And I've still got the swatch on there. Where, where is my Kleenex? Okay, I'll be right back. But anyway, there is that little tiny lip liner. I'll go ahead and swatch it here. But I love the fact that it is called understatement because it is not a hugely wide tip, although I did expand it there a little bit so you could see the color. But it is a wonderful brownie, rosy nude that I am finding goes with just about everything. And it doesn't give me that super bold lip line look. It just looks much more natural and it just gives your lipstick that beautifully finished off look to where it just looks like, my, she has beautiful lips and isn't her lipstick lovely? Okay, I actually just shot this video and realized that I forgot to mention my absolute number one beauty product. And that is my Omni Pillow from Sleep and Glow. And here it is. It is in a silk pillowcase, which that is part of what I wanted to share with you. 
But this is my Omni pillow and I've had it now for about a year and I absolutely love this pillow. And it is my number one daily beauty item because every single night I sleep on this and every morning I wake up and my skin just does not look as liney as it used to. The under eye bags just aren't there to the extent that they used to be. I truly think that this is a wonderful beauty item, just a beauty tool, not just a pillow. But how this works, it's wonderfully soft memory foam and it just cradles your head in comfort and it has a little support for your neck here. And then it has two divots, one on either side. And basically you can either sleep on your back, which is what I prefer. I've learned to become a back sleeper. And ever since I did that, I really think my face looks a lot better. But if you are a side sleeper and committed to that, this pillow will help you as well, which is wonderful. Because when you sleep on your side on this pillow, instead of a normal pillow, which scrunches all your face together and puts eight hours worth of lines in your face, presses those lines in your face every night, this pillow does not do that. Here I am totally lying on my side and I've got weight on this. And as you can see, my skin looks absolutely perfect. And what I do is I start to sleep on my back and I sleep on my back till probably two or three o'clock in the morning. And then invariably I wake up hot, maybe a hot flash, something like that. And to get myself back to sleep, I will sleep on my side. But I know that when I do that, I am not hurting my face. And so this is the number one daily beauty tool I have really. And some people say, oh, I would never spend that on a pillow because this is advanced technology and it costs $165. And I'll put a link below so you can read more about it. But the reason this is so good is that you can spend $200 easily to go to the esthetician and have a procedure done, which those only last so long. But for $165 to me, this is a daily beauty tool that brings you benefits for years to come. And also online, they have a silk pillowcase. This is not one of theirs. This is one that I just purchased on Amazon. I'll put a link to that one below, but you can get their silk pillowcase online as well. But I do love having a silk pillowcase, even if you don't have an Omni pillow, because the silk is just very gentle on your hair. It doesn't scruffle it around the way a rough cotton pillowcase would. It just allows your hair and your hairstyle to be treated very gently all night long. And then if you do happen to get this against your skin, it's very gentle on your skin, unlike the more rough cotton. So anyway, my most important daily beauty tool, even though I didn't put it in the lineup, it's not really number one officially, but that is the Omni Pillow. Okay, now let's get into my 10 daily beauty game changers. And the first one here is body brushes. And these are different because I have actually ordered them at different points from Amazon. And I'll link them in the description box below the video. But they are just little natural bristle body brushes. And I don't know that I've ever mentioned this in videos. But every morning before I take a shower, I get these two body brushes. I bought two of them because it's easier and quicker. And I just quickly go all over my body, arms, torso, boobs, <laughs> legs, everything, even the bottoms of my feet. And you brush in the direction of your heart and it increases your circulation and it gets rid of those dead skin cells. And I have done this probably every day for maybe two to three years now. And whenever I take a shower without using my body brushes first, I just don't feel as clean as I do after I body brush. And I truly think that this makes your body skin kind of glow, gets rid of all of the old dead skin cells. They even say it can help with cellulite. I don't know that that's true, but if you don't use body brushes, I would highly recommend your starting because number one, it will feel really good and it may improve your skin too. Okay, the second beauty tool that I use at least five days a week, so I would call this an everyday beauty item. I use them Monday through Friday morning and I've been using both recently so I can give you a good comparison in the future, but that is electric microcurrent devices. And I truly believe that they work. And I think they help your sagging skin, especially in the chin area. It helps kind of bring in your cheeks. It does help define the neck, kind of slim down the neck. And the interesting thing is, and I do have to say that the Foreo people sent me this bear maybe about six months ago, but quite honestly, as many of you know who have watched my channel, I am so wedded to the new face. I use two new faces Monday through Friday morning sitting in front of my mirror in my exercise room, but I use the new faces so religiously that I did not give this one a chance for the longest time. I had a little bit of problem initially setting it up with the app and I had to email the company and that took a little while and then I let it sit on the shelf and then about two weeks ago I started realizing 
that I needed to give this a fair try. And so what I did was Monday through Friday down in my exercise room, I had been doing one side with the new face and one side with the Foreo Bear. And the Foreo Bear is known to have a stronger microcurrent and stronger voltage than the new face. And you can really feel the difference. Plus it has a vibration technology, which is really, really interesting. And the really weird thing is that I went into the competition kind of thing I was doing in the morning between these two devices. I was just convinced the new face would win. And I have noticed over the past week or so that when I do it on either side of my face, that for some reason the Foreo gives me better results, it immediately pulls in my cheeks. And for those of you who watch my channel, you know that I don't like my cheeks. Sometimes I think they look kind of fat and flubby is what I call them. But it was interesting because when I used the new face on this side, my cheek stayed about the same. But when I used the Foreo on this side, my cheek really pulled in. And this happened for three or four mornings in a row. And the last time I did it, I actually did this and saw this one improve. And then I switched and did it again. And then this one using the Foreo pulled itself in. So I really do need to do a more in-depth, maybe a 30-day look at the Foreo versus the new face. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. If you all would like to see a video on the Foreo and would like to see me do a 30-day results video just on this, please let me know. Oh, and I will say, this one is about $3.99 retail, and this one is only $2.99 retail. And also, this one takes a little bit less time to do than the new face. So anyway, if you'd like to tighten and firm your skin, I'm not here to tell you which unit to use at this point, but I will say I think Electrocurrent really does work. Now, my third daily beauty game changer is the iRestore Hair Red Light Therapy Device. And this is a hair growth therapy device. And I won't go into real specifics about this because I did an intro video on this and then I did a three months results video and I had really good results. And real quickly, if you haven't seen that video, I'll show you my before and after results. On the left side, you can see my before. The temples were kind of thinning, definitely. I was getting bald places in areas. And then just three months later, just shy of three months later actually, those little baby hairs are growing in and it's covering up those bald patches. I am really thinking that this device does do an excellent job. And I can hardly wait to show you my six months results, which will be in another couple of months. But I just use this every other day for 25 minutes and you would think that would be hard to remember, but I look forward to it. In fact, there are days when I think, oh gosh, I want to do it. And then I'll think, oh no, I did it yesterday. I have to wait till tomorrow. So this is a really easy device and this battery pack makes it portable. So you just put it on your head without the little buff in your hair. You just put it on your head and then you walk around, go about your business for 25 minutes and the session is complete. But if you're having thinning hair, I will link those videos below so you can see more in depth about how this works. But this to me is a daily beauty game changer. Now, my fourth daily beauty game changer is this Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion, which is 12% AHA acid. And I won't belabor this point, but basically in the shower every morning, I towel myself off and I keep this in the shower and I just put a little bit of this all over my body. And I am not one that generally loves body lotions. In fact, I don't really love this. I don't like that initial greasy feeling you get using a body lotion, but I have to say I quit using this for maybe a couple of months a few months back and all of a sudden when I would look at my arm, I would see this crepiness, this aging, yucky looking, crepey body skin. And I thought, what is happening? What am I doing differently? And I realized that I had not been using this. So if you have crepey body skin or just would like to really combat dryness and uncover some more beautiful, younger looking skin cells, I can't recommend this highly enough. Okay, my fifth daily beauty game changer is Brow and Lash Serums. And these are the Revital Lash Brow and Lash Serums. Here is the Eyelash Serum and here is the Brow Serum. And Angie of Hot and Flashy absolutely loves this Lash Serum. And so I finally gave in, I bit the bullet and ordered them. And I have to say my lashes are not looking fabulous today just because I hurriedly did my mascara. But I have really been noticing tremendous lash growth using this Revital Lash Serum. And I have been really, really liking the Revital Lash Brow Serum because I am growing my tails out and I've got a few nodules on my thyroid, nothing major and it's benign. So I'm not worried about it from that standpoint, but I really think my thyroid may have stopped the growth of my tails. But of the two, I would say the Revital Lash Brow Growth Serum does an even better job of growing the hairs back on your brows but I really do like the Lash Serum too. 
Now, my sixth beauty daily game changer is whiter teeth. And you would think I would mention the Crest White Strips here, but I don't use those every day, but I do use them and I think they really help my teeth become whiter. And I'm out of them now and have been for about three weeks, so I need to get them back again. But I absolutely love these two products and I use them every day, multiple times a day. The first is the Sonicare Toothbrush, and many of you probably have this, but this is one that is known as the Whitening Sonicare Toothbrush version. And why it is called the whitening version is instead of just using four timed 30 second things before it beeps, you know, when you do the front teeth, the inside teeth, the bottom teeth, the inside of the bottom teeth, it gives you a fifth session of the 30 seconds. And on the fifth session, you just go along the front for 30 additional seconds. And I have to admit, I don't always do that, but I did notice that after I purchased this toothbrush and I started using all five 30 second intervals, including the front one, that my teeth really did look whiter. So I really like this. And I've been using it with this Crest 3D White Toothpaste, and I was going to bring in my gnarly little tube from the bathroom, but it was very gnarly and looked horrible. So this is the Crest 3D Advanced Whitening System, and it says here whitens in three days, and it has a little bit of that grit. Remember pearl drops from years ago, a little bit of grit in there. And I don't know that it whitened my teeth within three days, but I really do think this does keep down the stains. Now, my seventh game-changing daily product is a wonderful new brow product that I found maybe like two weeks ago. Absolutely love this. This is the Maybelline Brow Extensions, and that is how that looks. And this is a little different than any other brow product I've used. And see that head on there? That is not just pigment or oils. That actually is furry pigment. There are little tiny fibers in here. And when you look at it like this, I can see them sticking up all over, little tiny fibers. And you use this on your eyebrows, especially in the places that are sparse. And one thing that I have a problem with, and you all have seen my videos, you know that a lot of the time I have wonky eyebrows. I don't spend a lot of time on my brows. It's just something that I don't tend to do. And so I really like quick, easy products. And this is an absolutely great one because number one, it covers up all of the gray that I have in my brows, which is getting more and more difficult to do. And then it does fill in the tails with very realistic looking fibers. And the third thing this does which is really weird, you wouldn't think it, it's easy to put this on very quick, but once you put it on, if you feel your brows, they feel like they're plastic or super hairsprayed. They just feel like they're not going anywhere. And that's one of the big problems I have with my brows is that one of them will get just wonky and like I'll do a video and I'll see one eyebrow is pointing this way and this way, you know, just it doesn't look very good. But I absolutely love this product and it is very, very reasonable. Now, my eighth beauty game changer is actually to help have a smooth, beautiful foundation. And the first is this wonderful Real Techniques brush. And I think this is the third video I have mentioned this in, but I do use this every single day. Absolutely love it. This is their Blend and Blur foundation brush. And look at all those little tiny, thousands of little tiny bristles there. And what they do is they, you know, you put your foundation on, and this is the second part of this deal is that you dab your foundation all over your face and then you take the blend and blur brush and then I take four sprays of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I've mentioned this before but I do use it every day and I swear by it but you just spray the brush four or maybe five times and then you just go over your foundation in little circles all over your face and it absolutely puts that foundation down on your face. It lays it down smoothly with absolutely no brush marks and gives you a beautiful, thin, but full coverage to me looking foundation that is absolutely beautiful, glowing, and luminous. Can't recommend this and the Urban Decay Setting Spray highly enough. They're absolutely game changers in terms of having a beautifully smooth foundation. Now, my ninth beauty game changer is under eye concealer, and I've used this for years, actually, maybe at least a year. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Under Eye Concealer, and actually I use it around my nose and on my chin too. Truly love this, and it is very similar to Tarte Shape Tape, which I used for maybe two years before that, but this is a fabulous dupe, and I think it's around $9. But what makes this a daily game changer is that I have learned how to apply concealer in a different way than I was doing before. And I saw this on Risa Who Does Makeup on her channel, and she's absolutely lovely, and I'll link her channel below. She's in her late 40s, I think, but she's a makeup artist, very knowledgeable about makeup application. And I noticed that she applies her under eye foundation differently than I had been doing. 
and I was never really happy with how my under eyes looked because I do have these veins under my eyes. However, I did just have a laser procedure to remove them, which had mixed kind of results. I know it's going to work out fine, but I had a little bit of an issue after. And if you'd like to see a video about that laser procedure to remove those under eye veins, I would, I would love to show you that. Just let me know in the comments section below the video. But basically I noticed that when she applied a concealer, and I don't know if it was this one, but she took it and instead of just dabbing it in the areas under the eyes where she had discoloration, she started here and I won't do it, but she just kind of brushed it on to about halfway under her eye, which was very thick looking. And then she took a sponge and I believe it was the e.l.f. little tiny sponge here. I don't know what it's called. And I got this in an e.l.f. kit of three different beauty sponges. But then she would take it and just lightly dab under her eyes to blend out that concealer and it absolutely gave her a beautifully smooth appearance to her under eyes and really covered up everything that needed to be covered. And it is certainly doing that for me and I would totally recommend both the Milani Conceal and Perfect and the e.l.f. Little Baby Sponge if you really want nice, soft, smooth under eyes. Okay, number 10 in my daily beauty game changers is a bruise remedy. And I never realized how many bruises I get until maybe about a year ago I realized that every time I get my Botox, I get a little bruise under my eyes. And I did some other procedure to my legs, which was actually using the fascia blaster. And if you'd like to see a video about that experience, I will show you, but I know the fascia blaster people will not like me for it because I will never use that thing again. But suffice it to say, it's supposed to remove cellulite and make your legs soft and smooth. And they warn you a little bit about bruising, but this was catastrophic bruising. It was terrible on the backs of my legs. It took me months to get through that. But anyway, in looking for a remedy to help those bruises go away more quickly, I discovered the ProCure Bruise Remedy Arnica Gel, and this is fabulous. And it is super highly rated on Amazon, and that's why I ordered it. And what I would do if I were you, we all get bruises, especially as we get to be a little more mature, we get a lot of bruises, is to get some of this and have it on hand. In fact, I bought it two times in a row. I think it's maybe $6.50, very inexpensive, and the tube lasts a long time, depending upon how many bruises you have. But I liked it so much that I ordered a five pack so that I will never be without this. And especially if you have bruises and or spider veins on your legs, apparently this can remove spider veins as well. Haven't tried it on that, but I absolutely love this. And it's not only good if you have existing bruises, but it is good if you're going to have a procedure or something that you think you're going to bruise. Like before I was getting the under eye laser to get rid of my under eye veins, maybe for about a week, I applied this under my eyes and I didn't really bruise, which is amazing because I bruise at the drop of a hat. But anyway, if you are a person who bruises or you would just like to be able to take care of bruises for you and your family when you get them, I would really recommend this. Okay, that was a look at my 10 daily beauty game changers. And if you're interested in things that help us look better and feel better as we get to be more mature, then I hope you'll subscribe to 50 Plus Beauty. Love to have you as part of the 50 Plus Beauty family. Give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend. Okay, that's the end of my video, but I always like to leave you with a positive thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and choose hopefully a great card to think about for today. Here we go. I don't need to find my purpose. My purpose will find me. I don't need to find my purpose. My purpose will find me. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card. My hair is wonky there. I absolutely love this card because now from the perspective that I've gained, and once you get to be in your 60s, you have perspective on your life, which is a wonderful thing. But I realized that when I was younger, I thought I had to plot the course for my own life and that I had to go this way, this way, this way, this way, do everything I could to get to that particular goal. Well, as I've gotten to be more mature, I have realized that sometimes we don't need to so actively work to find our own purpose, that sometimes our purpose does find us. For instance, I was in TV news. I was a local TV news reporter when I was in my 30s, and I really liked it, and I really felt drawn to TV and to communicating with people through TV. But basically, I had two children at home, and it was just too difficult. I had to be away a lot of evenings and weekends. So I put that aside thinking that dream was gone. 
And then I went through my life, went into my dad's business, then my sister and I started a business, and then lo and behold, I was watching YouTube and thought, you know, I'd really like to try that. And so I did start my YouTube channel about three years ago, and while it is not multi-million subscribers, like, you know, it'd be nice, but while it is not like that, I do have a lot of wonderful subscribers, and I'm so grateful for it. And this YouTube channel is a very fun, rewarding part of my life, which I really appreciate. And it wasn't something that I really sought after. You know, I didn't set a goal to get a YouTube channel and do this and this and this. I was just kind of going through my life and gradually it happened. But friends, let's just remember that just for today, sometimes we don't have to actively seek our purpose. Sometimes our purpose will find us. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.